Hi guys, this is MS Studio, a studio where you get all the Dragon Ball stuff at one place. So don't forget to smash the subscribe button for daily updates. With Dragon Ball Super Manga number 62, we have a brand new leaks and early spoilers in the upcoming chapter involving Moro having to battle against her heroes. And with these spoilers having to pick up exactly where we left off and basically showcasing what's about to happen involving Moro in our heroes. The question now lingers where do a hero stand by comparison to Moro? Moro new powers and what exactly does this mean as we begin to go forward in reaching the finale of the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc to where we are going to be covering the entirety of this manga chapter on this channel. It's about, uh, it's about a few days along with providing you guys with additional spoilers and leaks for the upcoming manga chapter. So if you guys want to find out everything that happens involving Moro in our heroes then I do encourage you guys to push that like subscribe button and turn on all the notification to never miss a single update on the channel as well. And guys giving this video a like by pushing that like button down before. If you guys are simply stoked ready and excited to find out what's about to happen in this upcoming manga chapter. We saw in the beginning of the last chapter he started out the fight losing. But I still guess this is new Moro since he had stro stored a lot of his power within 7-3. And now that he fused with the Moro, he's like young again and he's got 50 plus times multiplayer of the fusion. As he got 50 plus times multiplayer of the fusion, so he, so he is just a way too strong and fast for Vegeta. Vegeta. Moro doesn't seem to be concerned, he, he doesn't seem to be nervous at all. That he is about to face off against our heroes until then then as of course you guys can see out of no, no, nowhere you observe how the Jitu is the first one to actually dash on up from the floor and kind of engage or at least present some level of threats threats to Moro. So this is actually very very alarming because everyone seems seems to be very nervous Goku Gohan but the only person that seemed to be the aggressor here is of course Vegeta. So Vegeta in fact does have a transformation as of course he rises up from the ground. We really don't know the, what kind of transformation he's using. Whether he's using Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. But now that Moro is fused with 76, he's like young again and he's got the 50 plus times multiplayer of the fusion. As well, so he's just way too strong and fast for Vegeta. Vegeta is he's likely basically like perfect cell versus a super Vegeta again. That's basically what we are seeing here. Vegeta cannot land anything against this Moro, and the fight is looking very grim. As nobody is joining him to help, it's just dodging, dodging, dodging now. I uh, I'm bursting on up. It's actually he's smiling because he doesn't seem to care until he, until then. What Vegeta end up as doing as you? As you guys can see, Vegeta winds up dashing directly at Moro, while of course Moro is still smiling. So a lot of people wanted Vegeta to do more they wanted. They wanted Vegeta to be the aggressor and they wanted actually thought that Vegeta actually had more in his body. And he does. Vegeta still has some power in left in his body as soon as he tries to hit Moro. Moro easily sidesteps out of the way so as soon as he does, this Vegeta winds up cutting right through the ground so clearly. Only then we got to see how Moro is looking down and with Vegeta. With Vegeta having to steer back up, he once again tries to attack Moro. He's kicking him, he's punching him and mind and mind him, Moro is still smiling in his face. Moro doesn't seem to be challenged at all. He doesn't seem to be rivaled but instead of he's just smiling. He's laughing and it really goes so as Vegeta is not inflicting damage. His sport, his spirit vision technique cannot work right. So as Moro just simply catches Vegeta attack and Moro then replied to him it's pretty much like game over. You can't win because you can't hit me. And if you if you do it I can block it. Uh, which means you can't use your techniques so that is you lose Vegeta. And we get that classic Vegeta phase, the Vegeta phase that we all know and love too well. Where whenever he is fi fighting a powerful opponent after he pointed to himself saying that victory was his end and the opponent is obviously way too strong for him. As the fight goes on, Moro grabs uh, on his punch and then he punches with that speed that blitzes Vegeta as so fast that there is a point towards the end of the panel. 
below where he just vanishes so, so much so that it is absolutely shocked now but i'm sure what moro is doing right now is just talking smack right he's talking smack he's saying oh what's the matter vader i thought your ability was going to stop me right it can uh, i can almost guarantee you it's something like that and everybody is really surprised oh why can't vayta hit him well it's because he's fused he's 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 caught the like almost like a fusion you might be wondering where he go well where it looks like he's going to do it exactly what 773 had done and he wins and he wins up it will voting behind megina and he grabs vayta by the back of the neck so moro steal vayta's ability this this rain imagine imagine the vayta on the planet yard learning everything that he's just so desperately trying to learn and then moro actually steals that form and moro everything steals from him is just a terrifying scenario to be in the fact that vayta is right now uh, agreeably ultra instinct posing the greatest threat against moro right but no but not anymore because everything that vayta had learned moro had not taken from him so as soon as we get to see how vayta quickly backs up away we observe that this is small kind of spherical looking up uh, you know emblem on the moro's palm and it's kind of similar to the emblem of 73 had on his head when he had three of those emblems on his head but instead of it instead of it moro has one on his palm Uh, and he reveals that in fact he uh, he did steal his technique he did steal his abilities and goku and vayta really don't know anything about his about this until uh, gohan actually informs him that in fact when moro had just done it it was completely steal vayta's power and then that is when moro actually moves in and he's the one that becomes the aggressor he ends up punching vayta times and he knocks vayta down on into the ground where mind you where where only hits we are a few only hits that took vegeta down so even right now in this situation with moro stealing his abilities moro is like one shot vegeta he punches him around punches him in the face and punches him in the chest as soon as vegeta is shown hitting the ground below what moro does is he winds up the sticking his hand out and interestingly enough he actually does something that we saw the jeto do many times and before because as soon as vayta lifts lifts his uh, lifts his head up there is a blood coming from his widow peak and forehead so this dude just got rocked so hard that he's bleeding he's essentially bleeding out and what moro winds up doing is he stick his hand out really enough and he's charging up his energy and the only other person that seem to know what the back is about to happen is vayta because from there everyone including gohan then notice that is exactly what moro was about to do because moro is actually preparing to fight the big bang attack yes the big bang attack moro actually having the ability to fire an attack like this and he's about to do it with complete grace so as of course we dive further into this moro moro winds up uh, moro winds up firing the big bang attack and ends up hitting the ground and it destroyed everything and that's essentially where the rough drafts come to an end and because there is nothing more than them from that point on but just to know that fact moro has now the abilities of 73 and and now he have also has the abilities of vegetas but now at the end of all of this i want you to get your thoughts in the comment section below if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get more latest dragon ball stuff do share my videos and support me as well as the manga i have transformed this manga in english and explained you in english so please guys share this and please like my video